Hello everyone and welcome to another Of One Mind beer review. I'm Zeb. I'm Daniel. And today we're home brewing, but also still reviewing a beer. Yeah. We're brewing a white stout, if you're interested. And we're drinking from uh, Ever Massachusetts Night Shift Brewing, their IPA called the Lupalinity. I was just uh, down there, went on a little road trip, brought back a ton of beer. So this is the start of it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Just do it. I like that sound. It's a little cloudy. Only. Very cloudy. Which is okay. What is it? An IPA? Yeah. Mm. Do you smell that? It smells like fruit. It smells delicious. A fruit basket. It smells good enough to drink. Whoa. That's pretty cool. Color of honey. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Yeah, like cloudy honey. I'm with it. I'm gonna put this back in the fridge. <laughs> Good idea. And here's our fridge. Yeah, I'm drinking both of these. Two finger, slightly off white head. Yeah. Color's not that great. It's not that appealing really, but that's okay. Yeah. It, it looks like anything. cloudy. Yeah, it's really dense. Cloudy honey. Like, Almost like apricot juice or something. Yeah. Thick like that. Yeah. It smells like... It smells awesome. Pine. Mango. <sighs> yep. Grapefruit. Citrus. Yeah, grapefruit. Mm. Hop resin. Delicious. Shlanta. Yeah, shlanta. Straight. Bitter. Bitter. But then there's a lot of fruit after the, the initially it's like punch you right in the face with bitterness. Mm. But then there's like um it's like a lime juice. That? Something. Yeah. Can't put my finger on it. Kind of like lime. Citrus. It, mostly, I mean, you're tasting the hops more. It's, it's juicy. Obviously. Mostly. Like I get, um, well, you get like fruit entirely. juice. Like citrus, you know, orange. But I get some something like lime or lemon. Something like that. I get a little bit of mango. It's, I'm not picking that up. It's interesting. It's there. Yeah, you're like, I don't even know what a mango looks what like. What is a mango? Yeah, you don't even know. Mm. Mouthfeel. Tasty? Yeah, for sure. Creamy? Yeah. It's kind of weird for an IPA. But I think it's a little creamy. Yeah. It's not oily by any means. No. No. Drinkability? Yeah, it's pretty drinkable. Yeah. It's the, the front end is a little, little bitter. That yeah. affects it for me, but... I think it's supposed to be. Huh? I would, uh... The fruit flavors are really nice, though. Like, yeah, it's tasty beer. I would, I would give it my overall rating is going to be a 4.0, and that's because oh. I am, I too, slightly against four. that way over bitterness, that overly bitter. So I docked the points there. Well, but I know that IPAs are bitter, but they don't have to be super bitter. Mm. So the first, the initial flavor of this is like bitter, and then it's like mmm. Delicious fruit. Yeah, my initial taste was like, whoa, mm, I don't know. But then after that, it leveled off and it got really tasty. Yeah. I'm not, I can't say what that And the color was exactly. A little off putting, so it was my other docked point. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, it's delicious. I'm like, yeah. If you go to Massachusetts and you go to Night, uh, Everett, you should go to Night Shift. The building is awesome. And they've got like, 14 beers on tap at any given point. It's really cool. I'm gonna get a buzz off of that. I mean, 6.4 percent. Plus we already we already drank a little homebrew, mm -hmm. which is like Ooh. seven and a half or something. Yeah. Woohoo! So anyway, if it sounds delicious, if you're in the Massachusetts area, I recommend checking them out. Overall, 4.0. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below. I'll be happy to answer them. Send us an email. I'll be happy to respond. Hmm. So until next time, cheers. Thanks for looking. <laughs>